Hi everyone, I've got HP LaserJet M140W and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this printer on your Windows PC and how to use HP Smart application to print and scan documents. Let's get into it. Make sure your printer's control panel looks like this. The Wi-Fi button is flashing, the power button is glowing and the warning indicators over here are off. Next, on your Windows PC, open Microsoft Store and install HP Smart application. By the way, it's available also for Mac computers, so the connection methods are pretty the same. So open this application, click on Yes on this window, accept all or decline optional data, let HP Smart access your precise location, this is necessary, so click Yes. Uh, also, to use all features of this application, you have to log into your HP account or create one if you don't have. Uh, let me skip the account creation process. It's very simple, just like create account somewhere on Facebook. So uh, create account, log in and continue. Uh, click on add printer. Once your printer found in this window, click on its image and click continue. Now select Wi-Fi network you wish to connect your printer to. You need to find your Wi-Fi network in this list. Click on that and enter your Wi-Fi password. Hit continue and just be patient and wait for follower instructions. Now you need to press and release the flashing Wi-Fi button on your printer. So just do it. Press it once, you don't have to uh, hold it. Okay, the printer is connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, now click continue. Now the system is installing the printer's driver. This might take a few minutes, but usually it's faster. Print driver successfully installed. Click continue in this window. Now you are on the home screen of HP Smart application. Once again, without an HP account, uh, you can just only enter the printer's settings by clicking on its image. Uh, to use scan, print documents, print photos and other features, you have to create an HP account. Uh, so let's print something. Let's uh, click on print documents. Ignore this window. It's about supported document file types. Click on OK. Select a document from your file system. Uh, let's say this one. Once opened, just wait for the print dialog. Now adjust your printing settings. Make sure the HP Smart Printing is selected in this drop down. Select orientation, paper size, it's A4 in my case. Uh, select paper type, it's plain paper. Everything is okay. Set output quality normal, economic mode or low compression JPEG, three modes, uh, amount of copies you need and range of pages. Print just only current page or enter the range of pages of this document and so on. Once you're ready with your settings, just click on print and wait for the result. That's it and now let's continue. Let's scan something using this printer. First, place your document correctly in the scanning unit, open the lid and put your document facing down and align the top left corner of your document with the top left corner of the scanning surface. You have the paper sheet icon over here, so you need to align corners like this and align edges snugly to the borders of the scanning surface. Notice your paper size, it's A4 in my case, use these paper size markers as guidance and close the lid. Next, in HP Smart application, click on Scan and adjust your settings, select Source, but you have no options here. If you wish to detect edges of your document manually, check this checkbox. Now select Preset, Photo or Document, select Scan Area. You can switch to your paper size or switch to entire scan area to adjust borders manually later. Select your output, color or grayscale, select resolution up to 600 dpi, 300 is more than enough for documents and just click on scan and wait for the result. Once you've got the result, you can adjust borders, just drag these corners to adjust or click on auto 
to auto detect but for this document it works bad so you can click on full adjust borders manually or crop the file later uh, now click on apply and you can add the second page right away just place the second page of your document in the scanning surface don't forget about aligning at the corners and borders close the lid click on add adjust your settings one more time you can combine different settings different resolutions color and grayscale scans and click on scan Now you have two pages in your document, you can switch between them over here. Uh, you can add images from your gallery uh, to your document. To do this, uh, click on import over here. You can ignore this window. Once again, import. I have some pictures in downloads, so select a picture you wish to add to your document. Open. And now you need to detect edges, so click on full to capture the full image, click on apply. And this way you can scan as large documents as you need, add what you want. Uh, after this you can click on this icon, three dots and replace, delete the page or edit it. When editing you can crop the image to standard size like letter or A4 or uh, crop manually, custom cropping like this, just drag this corner. You can adjust brightness, contrast, colors and so on, apply filters, add text, mark up your document and so on. Once you're done, click on done to save your changes or cancel if you don't like your changes, confirm your action. Uh, also, you can click on these four square icons and reorder the pages. Just drag and drop to reorder. Uh, you can rotate pages. Just click on rotate. Select pages you wish to rotate and use these buttons at the bottom to rotate selected pages together like this. Uh, then hit done. And once you're done scanning, you can print this document right away. Share, if uh, the sharing is set up on your computer, use printing shortcuts and facts. For this example, let's just save the document. You need to select the file type, select PDF for multi-page document or image if you want to save the document as few images. Let's save as PDF. You can rename the document in this field, select compression or save without compression and just click on save select location let it be in documents it's okay and save your file has been saved that's it one more thing i recommend you to do is open your window settings click on start go to settings and start typing printers and scanners select this item and make sure that not only HP Smart Printing is added here as a printer, but your printer itself is added here too, to bypass the HP Smart dialog when printing from other applications like email, Adobe Acrobat, and so on. If your printer is not added here, click on Add Device. Your printer will be found like this and click on Add Device over here to add your printer. Uh, and actually that's pretty it. If this video was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel, support us with your like and see you in the next videos guys. Be awesome. Bye.